Ilya is with us. I'm going to try and mess that up. In Chicago, is it Ilya? Yes, sir. You got it right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Took me about three tries. How can I help? <laughs> um, yeah, so I have a question basically kind of of uh, what you guys would do in my situation. Um, I just got a brand new job, literally starting second week right now. Good for you. Uh, my wife. Thank you. My wife and I um, have two cars, a 2011 Camry with a 123,000 miles that we own outright and a 2020 RAV4 that we currently lease. It's a three-year lease. We're halfway through it right now. Um, and with this new job, I get a company car. Oh. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out that I can use for personal use as well. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is the best course of action? I know the car market's crazy right now. So I can probably sell the Camry for the most I can, like, ever get for it. Mm -hmm. um, and if I can, I don't even know if it's possible to get out of a lease. Like, how do I go about that, and is that even possible? You have any money? Yes. How uh, much? Liquid, cash, we have about 25000 Okay, good. Well, you can just pay off the, the RAV. Uh, you're buying the lease out early. And you're, you know, at the end of the lease, or a closed end lease, there's a buyout amount, right? Yeah. M amount you can buy the car for. It's that plus some of your lease payment is what it'll be. You can call them for an early buyout number, which is like a payoff on a loan. Okay. Yeah. And that's going to, and you've got enough, you got enough money to pay it off. Okay. Pay it. You got any, how much other debt have you got? So, yeah, that's the thing. We have about uh, 15000 in student loan debt. The reason we haven't paid it off yet is because we just got married in December and I was like in the job market and I finally got this job and we were waiting until I like started and yeah. kind of now we're trying to get everything aligned now. Cool. Mm. Okay. Well, I wouldn't sell the Camry because it's not going to free up a payment and then you're going to have to turn around and go get another car on top of that. But right. I like getting rid of the lease. Well, they got a company okay. car though. They only need one car. Oh, you only need one car for the whole family. He's yeah. got well, he's got a company car, and then either keep the Rav or keep the Camry. Yeah. So I was going to say keep the Rav and pay it off. Yeah, and then sell the Camry. Yeah, sell the Camry, and and then let's throw the rest of it the student loan. Yeah. So you got okay. twenty five, and uh, uh, you said you're three years in. I don't know what's They're that, halfway. What's into that Rav four worth? You think? Oh man, I don't even know. I'm a assuming... pretty penny in today's market. That's yeah. for sure. I would say. How many of them is what I was asking? How many we pay pennies? three hundred dollars a month for the rat right okay. now. All right, uh, let, let's pretend. Okay, I'll just make up a number. Let's say fifteen thousand buys that lease out. I'm probably not that far off. Okay, you with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you yep. own the RAV, and you got ten thousand dollars in the bank, and you sell the Camry for five. You got fifteen thousand in the bank. Oh, now we're gonna pay off the student loan. Wait, we're broke. Yeah, that's a good idea because you were already broke. Now we just admitted it, and now you're gonna use a new job to build up your emergency fund, and you're 100 percent debt free. Am I right? Yep. So that's the kind of game plan I want to execute here if I can. I don't know if you're going. To, I don't know what the payoff is on that Rav, but um, I, what I would do is pay off the Rav, sell the Camry, pay all of it towards the student loan, but a thousand dollars, and you're on baby step two working on your student loan. What's the new job pay? Uh, like household income for both of us base is about 115 and not including side hustles and like commission and yeah. uh, bonuses. We're about like 130, 140. So household. at the latest by Halloween, you're hundred percent debt free. Okay. You, follow, right. you see how we're doing this. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. No screwing around. And I don't want to hear about going on some vacation while you got a student loan staring you in the face. Yes, sir. You just went to work, so by God, go to work. Yes, sir. I oh. hear you. <laughs> that RAV4 is worth about thirty-five, forty grand, by the way. Okay. All right. But, yeah, that, that's a lot of pretty pennies. Yeah. So um, I wonder if I, – I, I don't – did he tell us the – he gave you the year? It was 2020. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty new. It's, 22. it's not going to be a 15 payoff then. It's going to be a 20. 2022, somewhere in there probably, to buy that lease out. Because he's halfway right. through a three-year lease. Yeah. So um, the buyout and the lease had to do with old used car numbers before the market went nuts. So could sell it. Um, and make a profit at this point. He's ma They're making enough money to just clean this mess up by Halloween either way. Yeah. So get her get her done. If you like the RAV4, keep the RAV4. Yeah. Well, I mean, you like the RAV4 better than a 2011 Camry. Yeah. 
Well, that thing will run forever. It's only got 120,000 miles I mean, on it. I mean, I'm not. It's not a bad hoopty, but it's a hoopty. Yeah. Okay. I if mean, you're going to you choose know, your ticket, 110. He's cleaning up his mess. He doesn't have to. They don't have to. Because if the, if they get rid of it and they're driving a hoopty, you know what's going to happen this time next year? They're buying another car. Yeah. For cash anyway. That's so where they started. Might as well just keep the good car and work your way through it. Yeah. And that's the way I'm looking at. It. But I mean, you can argue with me if you want. I'm not going to dare to do that. Not here. We'll do that off air. Why not? Because I on, can't George. win, Dave. It's not fun for me. Come on, George. <laughs> Of course it's fun. And, of but, course, you could win. We'll let you win sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> but if you let me win, did I really win? That's the question. Oh, oh. But the thing with these car leases, Dave, a lot of people are probably in one and thinking, should I get out? How do you know the right way to get out of a lease? Is it always early you buyout know, amount and save you know, up the cash? The car lease is the worst buy in all of automotive. And here's why. When you put in the value of the car and you look at what you're paying on it, your cost of capital on average in a car fleece is 14.2%. Wow. So you're borrowing money at 14% interest. Although they don't disclose that it's interest because it's not technically interest, you're technically renting the car. So there's no truth in lending law because there's not any, technically any lending. Point being, real good time to get out of a car is now. And if you can get rid of that lease by selling that puppy in this upmarket, that'd be a real good plan because you're getting fleeced in your lease.